Hey guys. hey guys! So we asked some of you to share your craziest fan theories and today, Vincent, Denise and I are here to read, react and perhaps even confirm some of these crazy fan theories. You guys are very imaginative people. Okay, I'm gonna go first. This one is really exciting. It's gonna break your heart. Okay, the theory is, Denise is secretly already dating Tian Hao and Vincent doesn't know yet. What? No <laughs> The FOMO hey. is just hey. oozing out of Vincent. Hey. The FOMO hey. is no, oozing no, out no, of him. No, Look that is him. impossible, man. No, no, no. Ah, no, no. I'm gonna say I'm gonna debunk that right now. It's not, it's not true, it's not true. I think it's a good theory. I like this theory. I like it too. I, I hope that something... Like, we can break him out of his delusion soon. <laughs> <laughs> Regna is Tasha's elder sister. That's why Tasha found out about the organization and Ragnar wants Tasha to suffer because she hates her. That is like such a like a like it. Taiwan drama kind. Taiwan. Uh, I'm not I'm not too sure about it, but it's definitely an interesting one. Might, may might, it, it may be true, it may be not, you know, who knows? The next one. The entire T1 T5 verse is the dream of Tian Hao, who is stuck in a post-apocalyptic world thinking of his golden memories. I feel like we've talked about this before. I feel like we I feel, have. I feel like we've Can you imagine this. like the final episode? Like I just wake up like as this old and wrinkly guy and then like taking out my VR goggles or something. I, I don't think so. Denise will pick Tian Hao, and right when they're about to have their moment, the secret organization will expel him. Oh, this will be so sad. And then I win. Honestly, this sounds very probable. This sounds very yeah. uh, possible, and I can confirm that somebody is going to be expelled. <gasps> is it just one? More. <laughs> Madam Sudbank isn't pregnant, just fat, but she says she's pregnant because she's self-conscious. <laughs> No. I find this highly offensive. <laughs> this is super offensive. What's wrong? What's wrong with being pregnant? Yeah? It's been what? Two years? Three years? Did she give birth in between? Do we really follow the flow of time in our series? Oh, yeah. That's we're at the end of cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> our time, time flows differently yeah. in the Titan universe. Yeah. Miss Shirley goes to find Madame Subing and asks for her help to save Titan Academy. Then the two teachers in both classes, so T1, T5, and band together to save the school. Like, do we band together like Ryan in the school? Do we break stuff? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> and we get to meet all of the other students as well. Yeah, we so have not one done class. a huge... Um, the epic crossover. Yeah. 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 It, it'll happen, it'll happen soon. Denise finally gets the courage to tell Vincent and Xiao that she likes cookies. <laughs> How could you? How could you, man? How could you? We can do so much better than cookies. What? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I do like cookies. Though. Well, they do say I'm pretty sweet. Okay. <laughs> I think Denise likes the way Winston declare the love that he feels to everyone and really hopes that Chen Hao would show his effort just like what Winston did. Clean and clear. Ah, I don't know, but really want to see special movie or special series about this triangle love. Isn't our series about the triangle already? I think it, it, they want to see it develop. Amazing. Yeah. We want to see it, a short it film. It will develop, it will develop. Soon, soon, soon. soon, soon. Yeah, that's for sure. So in this theory, um, Tin Hao will save the school in funds as he is rich AF and he will save the school. I don't think any character is rich enough to save the school from such a, such a huge organization. I think it's way bigger than any individual. So um, I'm going to debunk this and say it's not possible. It's not going to happen. The only way uh, to save that's not how it's going to work. To get rid of the organization, man. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. No, no, sorry. We need them. <laughs> no, we need them. No, no, no. We can't get rid of them. We need them. <laughs> Vignesh is actually a teacher undercover and that's why he's sometimes there and sometimes not. Okay, no, I'm gonna debunk this. Basically, he's undercover but not undercover teacher. Yeah. Just undercover Maybe he's a spy. Yes. How about that? Maybe he's a spy. Yes, I like the idea. Yeah. I think he should Vignesh be a spy. Is a spy? Yeah. Yeah. He's a spy, really? Yeah. The whole series is fake and it's all an imagination in Chenau's head. I think we... Uh, you, you all really like want to put Chenau in a coma or something, yeah, right? Yeah. You want him to imagine everything, huh? <laughs> well, I mean, technically, it is sort of like an imagination on my mind. The secret organization will be the one to destroy Titan Academy. Not if we have something to say about that. Yeah. They might try. I wouldn't say they would destroy. I would say they would change and Maybe our, yeah. unintentionally destroy. Yeah, like they'll change our way of life. Like yeah. who knows, maybe in the future. Maybe it'll be better. Maybe it'll be better. Mm. Maybe the organization is good after all. Maybe, maybe we're the, the villains. villains are, yeah, maybe we are the villains. Ah. Then we can have a short film. I am organization. Oh. <laughs> As Miss Shirley tries to fight the organization and fails desperately, she meets up with Mr. Mutu Raja and Madam Subing and the trial attempt to save the Titan Academy together. 
That, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Yeah, could, that's kinda possible, cute. but uh, we might yeah. have to do some uh, uh, change of uh, actors. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, Starly is going to play the part as Madame Soup Bing's baby when she's old enough. I don't think you guys realize how big Starly is already. Starly has passed the stage where she can even play a Madame Soup Bing's baby. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it would kind of be weird. I don't know. Starly as Madame Soup Bing's baby. Yeah, this part but makes I think sense. I think it's so cute. I would like Starly to be on. Set. Okay, we'll make yeah. you a student then. The fact that Tasha was almost going to review the school, the whole school plot yeah. about the organization, but Denise could not. Uh, does that mean that Tasha is smarter than Denise? You mean D-nice? Maybe Denise doesn't care. And honestly, in a situation like this, I don't think students are very aware, regardless how smart they are, of what's happening to the structure of the school. I would say um, maybe that's not any of Denise's business yet. You know, a smart person is not a good detective. It doesn't make you a good detective. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tasha is just a, for lack of a better word, busy detective. Body. Busybody. Aww, you guys are so sweet. I think she's street smart. I think uh, we have established in yeah. the series that are more of a yeah, book smart Denise is not person. very street smart in yeah. the series. I think this one is good. Abby actually has a relationship with someone else but has not told Trev yet due to him always interrupting him and acting desperate. Oh. I think when we came out with uh, the latest episode, at least the presentation one, um, the intention was for Abby to um, actually sympathise with him, you know, and in result of uh, her sympathizing, she actually just goes along and um, does what Trev uh, requests. So, but whether she's um, in a relationship with someone else, I cannot confirm. <gasps> I wouldn't advocate cheating, you know. But, but they never actually got yeah, together. Yeah, they're not together. Are they not? No, they're not. No it's one, just, no it's one. Just, a, just a companion, you know, just a yeah. best friend. No one is actually together <laughs> in the series. Right? No yeah, one is that's together. True. That's true. I love how we're all looking at Hakim. Seeing <laughs> <laughs> how actually passes exams, but teachers hate him, so are trying to legally fail him. Why would teachers hate me? I'm so friendly and like, I don't cause any trouble. <laughs> that's a, that's a theory for another day. Yeah, but you know, I, 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 I kind of like this theory. I kind of like this theory. I think teachers would hate my character more than him. Like, this is most possible for me, you know? Yeah. yeah but you, you, you're, I already feel like I feel like you're kind of harmless even though you're annoying. Mm. I feel like I could do no, some I damage. I feel like you're more of a lovable, annoying kind of a character. Okay. I think he just heard the lovable part. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the lovable part. <laughs> it's a selective yeah. theory. <laughs> You heard that guys, I'm lovable. <laughs> so this one's good as well. Speaking of my imagination, Class T1, T5 actually does not exist. It is Denise's imagination. In reality, she has no friends, gets bullied and eats alone in the toilet. Therefore, she imagined Class T1, T5. This is just a theory. I apologize if this theory can be found as sad or disturbing. Can you imagine in my reality, I'm dreaming about two guys fighting over me. Yeah, that's why, it, that's why it's so like <laughs> right, hey, intense. Oh, so we can sad. make one episode where suddenly we, we get out of this mind control. Yeah. Denise, let us out, Denise. We don't want to be here. We need to go back to the office. <laughs> Pistol Pet. Everything represented in the school videos is actually how your guy's life at school passed by in real life. I think to a certain extent, yes. Like, it's very closely to how uh, my, my school life was. Plot twist. So Denise has a magic book and whenever she writes a scenario, it comes to real life. So she wrote about the whole class. And that's why y'all exist. <laughs> Denise oh, Vision. So sad. <laughs> that's how um, our audience imagines you. Oh. <laughs> Uh, but it actually is quite true to life, you know. <laughs> Last time I was at home, right, I would write, you know, we used to have blocks or something. Yeah. So I'll pretend to have friends there. I'm like, oh, today I went out with my friend, but I had no friend. I was like in my room, right on my block. I'm very sad right now. No, 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 I'm, I'm okay now, I'm okay now. Okay but I, now. Yeah, I'm okay now. But, but back then. It's true, like, it, so, you know, it mirrors the, the previous theory. He now has a large collection of baby bicycles at his home. I can confirm this theory is true. Yeah, yes, actually. It is true. Yeah, yeah. It is true. Yeah. Yeah. IRL also. Like real life, you do have a bunch of baby bicycles. Yeah, I do, I do. Yeah. This person gave us four theories. Number one, Madam Soup Bing isn't actually pregnant. She's just pretending. Number two, Denise will break both Tian Hao and Vincent's hearts. Number three, Ridwan likes patient. Number four, Ben will leave Debbie one day. Can I'm you? just gonna say, that I can confirm that at least two of this is going to happen. Yeah. I don't know which one. Ah, you know number two won't happen. 
You're gonna take one of us. Come on. <laughs> He's just so confident. Watch him get killed off in the next episode. <laughs> Terry actually was taking pictures of trees. All right, yeah, there are trees in our school toilet. Eh? Trees are growing in our school toilet. He had to go into the toilet to get a better view of the trees, right? The next backstory was that her mom kept saying that her grades were too low and pressured her to keep studying. And she kept getting scolded until she couldn't remember the past. So now she can't live without studying because she's too used to it. Oh, so sad. Okay, okay. I feel like everything. I think I might cry, you know. <laughs> Don't cry, you're surrounded, okay. so sad. You're surrounded by living friends. Okay, okay. Wow, serious stuff. Serious stuff. <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe. I think we can always... Uh, we haven't really explored so much of my backstory, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there might be a reason why why I'm the way I am in the series. Because uh, it can get quite annoying, I think. Yeah. Like, who is always so on the ball? That's a bit weird, right? So you, you, you are. <laughs> <laughs> you are! What are you talking uh, you about? Go back. Jin Hao's phone is the key to everything. Madam Su Bing eventually gives it back. And it's all up to Jin Hao to save the Titan Academy. Then he just plays his favourite game. What a disappointment. I feel like I'm a, I'm a disappointment. But the question is, what is my favourite game? Maple Story. Uh, uh, Dynasty Warriors at one point. Uh, mobile Legends. Ah, Mobile Legends. Yeah, mobile and Legends. State of Survival. So what is my favourite game? Maybe I just like games. Maybe you just made, you made your own game. Maybe uh, I made my own game. Made your own game. Yeah. Uh, there's a secret organisation behind the secret organisation. Everyone thought Loki was the main villain in Avengers. And then there was Thanos. And then there was Thanos. Denise is actually undercover from the Singapore FBI and she's trying to infiltrate the school because there is a villain within the school that they are trying to discover. So, uh, this villain is trying to back Principal Thanos. Oh, I think bring back Principal Thanos from the dead. And Tian Hao's mom works for the FBI, FBI as well. And she sent Tian Hao to keep an eye for her so that on her so that she doesn't get hurt. Oh, so your mom sent you into the class so that you can protect me. Then I don't get hurt. Oh. Okay. okay. And then and that ends up with Denise relearning everything and almost finding the universal cure to a rare disease called scoliosis. <laughs> Why are we even hiring scriptwriters? I feel like we should hire like all of you guys. These theories are amazing. And while she's working, she's already creating a movement to stop students a boss. Abuse. Uh, abuse from teachers and she's planning to submit it to the Supreme Court so that homework can be made illegal. Yeah! I can confirm this is not true. Yes, for sure. Uh, but if we were to ever had an alternate, alternate universe, then this is a perfect storyline. Well done. This one is pretty insane as well. Tian Hao is the most superior, capable, and loyal spy. You sure you didn't write this? I... <laughs> you sure? <laughs> From an alien planet named XZ-007, he was sent on a mission to retrieve the Relic. The relic. Relic Zeus. Relic, relic, relic Zeus. Zeus. A special stone that can make someone extremely intelligent and the person's brain become extremely superior and he can even possess psychic powers such as hypnosis, future sight. And this is the reason Tian Hao had to disguise as a fellow earthling with the help of the map of retrieval. He located the stone to be somewhere in the Titan Academy. On the other hand, the relic Zeus was inside Denise which made her extremely intelligent. Even though Denise was unaware of that fact, Jin Hao knew it and there was no way he could get the stone out of her body. So he thought of a plan. He would have to escort Denise and marry her to his alien planet. Once there, the mighty supreme ruler of the planet, Phantom X, might be able to retrieve the stone with the help of his skills, even though that meant that Denise were to be killed. Gong Gong and Nico are Tian Hao's assistants and they know about the whole thing too. Although the end, Tian Hao manages to date Denise, but she comes to know about Tian Hao's plan about the relics and rejects him on his marriage proposal. Mm. So I will say it's false because I'm not in this dark theory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is so amazing. This is insane. How, how do you even come up with that? The last theory. Kevin is actually part of the FBI.
Denise is a time traveler. Vincent has a twin with opposite behavior, of course. Renee's young is a mermaid. Of all things, mermaid. Of all things. <laughs> uh, Debbie is extremely beautiful and she has beautiful eyes. Any man who sees her eyes will fall in love and be obsessed with her. Her mom knows this and for Debbie's best interest, she decided to turn her into a nerd. Hey, that's like that, is that is such a great smart. idea. That is so yeah. smart. Wild theories. There are some wild, wild theories. Okay, guys, so thank you for sending us all your theories. As you can see, like you guys have a bigger brain than us. Yeah. yeah. So you guys, if any of you guys uh, want a job, just uh, email me. Email me. I'm going to hire but, some but don't, of you don't guys. Don't steal my job. Like, I need it. I need it. And as some of you guys have noticed, um, we haven't had an episode for the past three weeks. And that is actually because Singapore is in sort of a mini lockdown. Yeah, um, sort of a lockdown, yeah. sort of not a lockdown. So mm. we're not able to do filming for the time being. But don't worry, we will be back next month. And if you guys have any other fan theories, please leave it in the comments down below. We love reading through like, all these ideas. And if you guys want to see some of the other Class T1, T5 students react to your fan theories, there's more, um, you can watch the video here. And then remember to subscribe because we will be having more episodes next month. And we'll see you then. Bye. See you. Bye. Write nicer things about me, please.